Oh man, let me tell you, when I found out we were having bus safety training today, I was stoked. Okay, this school is way overdue for bus safety training. Two days ago, I found this inside the cushions of a seat on the way to I squared for my workshop class. Tell me how this is safe for anybody. I mean, these kids, they don't know how to get off a bus, how to get on a bus, what weapons to bring on a bus. I mean, you can't tell, tell me that we don't need this. Is there a list of people? You would say yes, it normally is in a white binder. But when you look at the history of what country music has given us, you get names like Hank Williams, Patsy Cline, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson. Well, I mean, dude, where's that music today? You know, rock and rolls came a long way. You start with the Beatles, go to Led Zeppelin, you know, maybe some Metallica, Motley Crue, all the way up till today with Bad Wolves, Five Finger Death Punch, bands like that. But what are, what are any of those guys doing today? I mean, you got YNWLE, NLE Choppa, J.D. Youngin. I mean, all those guys are current and fresh. But that doesn't, that doesn't matter. We decided to make a music video, but guess what? We can't decide what genre of music we use. We got a third of the class who likes rock, a third likes country, and a third likes rap. I personally like scat, you know, like skew it, but I don't think right now would be a time to bring that up. Are you kidding me? Look at Luke Combs, Sturgill Simpson, Drew Parker. I can go on. Did you just say Sturgeon Combs? Well, you know what? A lot of current music can be okay, but stuff from the past is just downright better. 80s, 90s, I can go back even further, but there's no question or comparison. But now, if you look at the top 100 Billboard charts, it's all rap. Did you seriously? It, well, that was rhetorical. If you look at the charts, it's it's you're going to see rap. You don't have to look it up. But even other genres of music are starting to incorporate it into theirs. So you mean like crossovers? Absolutely not. This is a travesty. They're just using it to make money and make a quick splash on the scene. I agree. A quick splash. Rap's been around. This has been going on for three days. And uh, each day it's getting, it's getting worse. Uh, if it keeps going on like this, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to be actually fighting. It's not normally like this around here. Uh, normally everybody's pretty chummy. Come to think of it, I think old school is kind of on edge a little bit. I'm not really sure what that is about. When you listen to country music songs and you really listen to the lyrics, they're so relatable. I mean, you think about the people and the places that they sing and write about. I mean, everyone can relate to that. Relate to that? Have you have you ever listened to a country song? Are you even a fan? Because let me tell you, country songs are all the same. You're sitting out in the cornfield, you got your girlfriend, you got a drink, you under the stars, you're on the tailgate of your truck, all the same. And people in rap cannot relate to that. You, there's no way you can say that any of that is relatable to us. Because country music songs, they're not all about drugs, sex, and money. Rock and roll's about all that. Rock and roll, rock and roll's just awful. I mean, you listen to the music and it just... Just listen to this. I mean, the lyrics are wonderful. I mean, he's talking about how how he is where he is today. It makes you want to be there yourself. I mean, listen to the beat. Like, it's something else. Like, it's crazy. I mean, listen to that. Uh, no, no, no. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. You ever heard of Green Day? Okay, Basket Case. Tells a great story about a person who went crazy. Do you have the time? 
to listen to me whine about nothing and everything Y'all, just hold on. Those two songs were just awful. Okay, this song by one of the best artists, nobody can argue, one of the best artists ever, Hank Williams Jr. This song is just about how great country music is and the family that it forms. Just, just listen to this. You lost me. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. No, no. How about you listen to mine? Dude, listen, listen to this. This is way listen better. That this. is awful. Listen you, to this. You can't even understand listen what he's saying. Listen to this. Melodramatic fools. Just, just give it a chance. Turn that off. I finally figured it out. Thanks to my rigorous investigative reporting and a well-timed tip from a good buddy of mine, uh, I finally figured it out. So I started this, or uh, I made this theory about why people at this school have been so, you know, intense or, because, you know, normally people around here are easy going. We got like a light, you know, feel to the place. But uh, it didn't make any sense to me. People have been on edge, you know, really tense. It's not normal, Dr. Fitzpatrick. I knew that there had to be something behind this, something sinister. But, uh, for example, first year or first day of school, Colin Molinax, flat tire. Did he really have a flat tire, or was there something else behind it? How could y'all be so stupid? Stupid? Yeah. I'm stupid. Nobody wants You're to listen stupid. to that stupid You're music. Stupid. Listen here. The only reason that either of you listen to the music you do is because your moms make you listen to it. Oh, my mom. Yeah, I, that's right. I, know I know you didn't right. say that. Oh, your mom, I know you didn't say that. I know you didn't say that. Don't make me. Finally, we have my three fun loving WGHB uh, classmates turning against each other over a music video. Okay, so who is it? Don't you see? It's all right here. The times, the places, the people. One person's names keep popping up over and over. Whose uncle runs the county's power grid and just so happened to cause over 100 people to lose power last week? Who doesn't ta or take a side on Clemson and Carolina football? Who, who just stays in the middle like that? I'm about to go upside your head with this pallet. What is the pallet doing in here? Don't worry about my pallet. I'm worried about it. Who is Stephanie Uli going to name her next son? Carson. Carson Burgess. Hmm. Where are we going? Jail. Jail? I've never been to jail. What you hit? I might be see this. Guys! What are we arguing about? I don't know either. Uh oh. Huh. Y'all wanna go get something to eat? Sure do. Wendy's? Yeah. I'll, I'll buy it. Okay, no, I'll drive. I'll buy it. Go ahead. Buy all this. Hey guys. <laughs> what do you what do you call a fish with no eyes? What? Uh psh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys decided on a music video yet? Nah, but we're really not worried about it. Why don't you guys just do bluegrass? That's a great idea. Dude, that's, that's genius. Best idea I've heard all day. That's awesome. Thanks, Kenji. Man, thank you, dude. Man, great day. Great, great day. day. Beautiful day. It's awesome. Came into the jail today, visit the mastermind. Thought I'd give an opportunity for him to confess and uh, me to get some closure. 
here. Number three. Bro, thanks for coming to see me. What's up, man? How they treating you? Bro, it's fun, bro. I've made so many friends in the yard and in the uh, courtroom, like where we eat. Do you have anything to say to me, like, about what you've done? Really? I mean, honestly, like, it's fun here. You, you should come visit sometime. We're having we're having all the fun in the world right now. What are you talking about, dude? Like, you should come visit some of my friends. I have one thing to confess. <laughs> it's kind of a secret, but the beds here are horrible. I mean, I guess it's a low budget, but it's like rock solid beds here. Bro, you know why you're in here, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, I was late to school that one day, but I mean, I guess no bad crime goes unpunished. Oh, dude, are you serious? That's not why you're in here. What? what? Dude, I mean, what can I say? I'm sorry, I was late. Like, you know, Burgess, time's up. Hey, man, Carson, I gotta go. Hey. hey. Carson. Carson, hey! Carson! 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 Not exactly sure what just happened in there, but uh, Carson's behind bars, and that's all that really matters. This has been a great experience. You know, I'm learning a lot from my fellow inmates, and I appreciate the routine and order, you know. And I, honestly, I think I'm making some friends. Bro, you got that bump. I appreciate you.